Because we're Jake. Beach. What's up, everybody? My name is Jake Holman. I'm going to be doing something a little different here. I got this Betty Crocker's cookbook that my wife and I got when we was when we got married from her aunt. It's a cookbook from 1956. It's an old doozy one. And uh, I'm just going to open up to a random page. Point to a random recipe. And then uh, we'll just see what it is. Okay. Cookbook. Random page. Oven baked chicken and biscuits. I don't know if you can read that. It's probably backwards. Let me flip the key. Oven baked chicken and biscuits. Chicken fries in the oven and biscuits baked in the same pan flavored with peaches. What the fuck? See color picture on the opposite page. Oven baked chicken and biscuits. That doesn't look too bad. Southern baked ham. Yeah, it's definitely like a southern dish, I would think. With the peaches and the biscuits and the chickens. I mean, I have I have chicken. And it probably tells you to make, yeah, mix. Roll. Meanwhile, make dough for biscuits. Roll dough. Dream. Should I just, should I just buy do like biscuits from the store? Yeah, I'll just buy biscuits from the store because I don't want to fucking make biscuits uh, homemade because that'll just make a fucking mess and then I'd have to clean it. Meg will probably get mad at me, yell at me a couple times. This is just quicker. I'll just buy the biscuits. I have chicken. I'll get some peaches from the store. And I think I have pretty much everything else. Unless... And all we have is apples and oranges in the fruit baskets. Hmm. You know what? Oh, why here? I'm going to the store and get some fucking biscuits, or get some biscuits and or, uh, peaches. I'll be right back. So I got the drumsticks, I'm going to thaw these out, then I'm going to run to the store. Peaches and biscuits.
peach has. Let's do a can. Biscuits. Eight big biscuits. Now we're gonna do the original recipe. Eight biscuits. No, oh, about two cans. So I got my shit, got some biscuits, got some peaches, and I got more biscuits. Chicken's also been thawing out. I know you're not supposed to uh, thaw it in warm water, but that's how I do it. I don't care. I'm not going to get salmonella poisoning. Probably will, whatever. I'll deal with it later. So yeah, the chicken's all unthawed. Now I just gotta follow the recipe. So the recipe calls for me to mix it in a paper bag. I ain't got no fucking paper bags, but I'll mix it inside of a fucking bag, Ziploc probably. And then, I don't know if I have short, I think I have shortening from this one time I made cookies. Half shortening, place half cup shortening, half butter, in 13 by 9 oblong pan, set in the oven to melt. Alright, I can do that. Alright, so I had shortening. It was just in the very fucking back of the cabinet. Now, I'm not understanding if I have to, like... Like it says, place half a cup of shortening, and then in parentheses it says half butter in this. So am I supposed to use shortening and butter? Or does it say half a cup of shortening or butter? Or half shortening, half butter? I'm going to do half shortening, half butter in a half cup. <laughs> I think that's how it translates to. So a fourth cup is four teaspoons. So one, two, three, four. So right about here is fourth cup. Switch. chill. No. So, I'm The 
baby. What? Do you think I could do this in a glass pan or it has to be a metal pan? Glass. Why wouldn't you be able to do it in wax? Why wouldn't I? Yeah. I don't know, I'm just asking you. Here. So I'm going to do this in a glass pan. So one, two, three, four. Swung. I just have a big old thing. I'm just going to... Yeah. I'm supposed to melt that in the oven. All right. All right, now I have to mix in a bag, a cup of flour, salt, pepper, and paprika. All right, so in the freezer bag. Cup of gold metal. Good thing I got gold metal. It calls for gold metal. Gold metal flour. Two teaspoons of salt. And I have a uh, half a teaspoon. So I'm just going to go like that. Jeffrey Chill. One, two, three, four. There. Welcome to Holman's History Report, where Jake Holman attempts to kick history's ass. Out of all founding fathers, back in the day, there's only two people that signed the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Articles of Confederation. And it was not Benjamin Franklin. Their names was Roger Sherman from Connecticut and Robert Morris. And those guys are motherfucking badasses. <laughs> Motherfucker! That concludes Holman's history report, motherfucker. And then, fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. I have a fourth here. Fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. And then two Wait. teaspoons of paprika. I just have to use my half paprika. I know we have paprika.
So, some in seafood. Chill steak. Got stabbed cumin. Chili powder, garlic salt, minced garlic. What's this? Parsley flakes. Chili powder. Ah, paprika. So, four of these bad boys. One, two, three, four. All right. Oh, shit. No. No. Check on our melted shit. Doesn't look really that melted. So kind of clean up here. All right, check, looks melted. Grab a, one of these bad boys. Oven mitt. Now, I'm gonna take the chicken. So it's to shake three or four at a time. I think it's just like a light coating. about that coating. Right there. Uh oh, I hear the girls. Right there. Hi. Right there. I just went swimming. I'm putting the chicken in the, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Don't touch. Did you bring yourself? No. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of chicken I got in here. That should be good. Is this hot? Yeah. It says heat oven to 425. I think I have it at 370 at the moment, 365. So 425. And then once it's heated up, I'll put this in there. 
So I got the oven preheated at, set at 425. It'll preheat. I'll put the chicken in there. For now, I'm gonna clean up this mess or else Megan's gonna kill me. And then uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, the, it's telling me to cook this for like 45 minutes, then push all the chicken to the side, and then put the biscuits right here. And then uh, once I have the biscuits in there, put the peaches on the chicken, and then cook it for an additional however many minutes. And then, uh, and then I can make a gravy out of the fucking shit like on the bottom in a pan. And then make have like gravy, biscuits and gravy, and then chicken, and then with the peaches on it. Should taste pretty good. Okay, I realized that I only had like two more pieces of chicken, so I just added it to it. And then the oven's preheated. Put this in here for however long. It's kind of hot. Alrighty. There, I think it's going to be 45 minutes, so I'll see you then. Alright, it's been about 45 minutes, and I'm going to check on the chicken. Hot heat wave. Since I put a shit ton of fucking chicken in there, I'm gonna fucking just make the biscuits on the side. Going to do this. Um, I'll switch you over. I'm going to do the peaches and then put the peaches on there. So I got peaches in that. I'm actually gonna put this on the bottom rack. Put this on top, and then it's gonna be like for like 15 minutes just until the biscuits get done. And then I'll take all that shit out, and then I'll make a gravy with the all the shit that's inside here. I'll make a gravy, and yeah. All right, so I forgot that I was supposed to turn this chicken, so I took it out. I'm actually gonna add it to this pan right here, and then I'm gonna start with the gravy that's inside here. Yeah, those so, look yeah. good. What? Those look good. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, here we go. Put that in there. No, the biscuits actually look almost done. Really? All right, so I have a little pan. Grease in it. Chicken? No, gravy. I'm going to make a gravy out of this. Oh. I'm just going to take some of this, put it, scoop it in here. Hot. Is it hot? Well, this glass pan's hot. What? Well, if they want to follow along. They do that. So, is that enough gravy? Well, I'm going to make gravy, babes. So, I'm just going to grab some flour again. Okay. Ready to put the flour in there? Yep. Okay. About hot. Can I pour the flour in here? Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay, so like this much. And then I'll just yeah. Alright, now we gotta put. Do we have to mix it? Do 
two tablespoons of flour. That was about two tablespoons. And then uh, one and a half cups of hot milk. We need hot milk, Mike. Put it in the microwave. One and a half cups. Okay. And then we will put it in a microwave. But Dad, let's not put it in a glass because it will get way too hot. So let's grab a cup. And we won't put it in a microwave. That's about one and a half cups. Dad, let's Okay. So we're cooking in warm milk. Right, Baba? Yeah. Oh. Alright, so we're taking this. Taking this and you're gonna... a little more of this shit in there. Dad, waiting for the milk to be done. Oh, these are the cards. Make sure that doesn't like boil up and over. Okay. Turn this down. We gotta wait for the milk. Alright, so we have this going. We gotta have heated milk. Yeah. We need to have warm milk. Alright, so I got it, me. Uh, milk's hot, so we're just gonna add all that. Add that there. Mm, mix gonna... it. Hold on. Turn this around. Let's get. Pretty soon here the milk's gonna thicken. And then it's gonna turn. Baby! Oh shit, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Biscuits. <laughs> nice golden brown biscuits. Grab a, a pad. <laughs> All right, so my gravy's done. My biscuits are done. Yeah, your I think my chicken's done. Grab me a another pad, me. Okay. Here, just grab me here. Grab me this. So, oh. watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Who is a glider thingy? What? What's a glider? <laughs> All right, so chicken and biscuits with the gravy. We'll dish up. All right, so I got my chicken, got my biscuits with the gravy, got a bottle of jug of water. Let's try this out. Try the biscuit with the gravy first. Did ya? Yeah. Nice. Try the chicken. I'm trying to warm it. Daddy, do you want to play? Daddy, do you want to play? Warm peach is good. Do you want to watch them? Yeah. Do you want to warm peach? You're using the fork that you're already using for the peach. That's pretty good. Peach. Where's I need a toothpick? Oh. Okay, use the same. Pretty good. Use the same fork here. Alright, um. Use the same fork. 
I'll eat this. I'm going to dish up the girls. And then I'll see you at the after show party. Hello. This is the after show party. It's been a, it's like a day or two since, since we had the chicken. Um, to be honest, honest opinion, I mean, it was all right, but it just kind of tasted like chicken and biscuits gravy. It wasn't anything all that special. Um, I think if I had to change it up, I'd change, I'd like cook the chicken a little bit different not so not use like flour or just like you just put a little bit of a seasoning coating on it and then bake it like that um it was all right it's just i feel like it was stuff that i've had before but just like never had together because i've had biscuits and gravy you know and then i've had baked chicken you know but it was all right um I think next time if I do a meal out of that cookbook, I'll fucking, I'll try to find something really fucking crazy and uh, see, see if I can like pull something out, out of that. So, all right, see you next time. Bye.